Hi, Michaela. How are you doing? I've got your work up here. Hey, you know what? I haven't, we haven't seen you in a while. And I know that you had some, some things that needed to take, be, <laughs> be taken care of, so to speak. So that's awesome. But um, we're behind. I'm, you know, we're behind. I'm, listen, but, but here's the thing. And I mean this in all honesty. This is probably conceptually the most, the it, very easily, it's the deepest concept. It's the deepest thought process. And, and this is the stuff designers are made of. Um, doing the time lapse in the skis to create the logo is just, I mean, the, the, I'm not, I, this is the kind of thinking that gets folks hired. Um, because it's so different than anything we've seen. Um, does it work? Is it done? No. And I think that it's obvious. I mean, we've got the skis. I, I mean, I, I recognize it immediately. Um, I don't know if your viewer is going to have that same um, luxury. I, the logo itself has got some inherent. And again, just want to reiterate, I just want to say again, the concept is just out of this world execution a couple of things i would not show these other stripes by your logo because i i'm still and to be completely honest with you i'm still wondering if those aren't part of the logo right um so you know you don't want to obstruct the vision of your logo with with anything that might construe it as being part of the logo really really like the the, the typeface i i do i think it's gorgeous I think it's really, really interesting. I, I, I enjoy the presentation. I think your letting, uh, your, your kerning's a little too loose. I would bring these letters a little, little closer together. Um, good, good relationship, good sizes. The 2022 is too small in relationship to the size of the actual mark. Because when you shrink it down, that's going to get lost. You won't be able to see it. Speaking of resizing it, let me see. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm trying to think of a way to resize this so you'll see it on the screen, but you'll see this. You'll see this. Okay, so look what happens when we get far away. Let's go to 25%. Okay, and we can already see that at 25%, you can't see the 2022. The L is disappearing. The U and the I are disappearing. And the, the, the shape is becoming some something more of an abstract set of curves and, and planes. So it, it's not working. It, 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 it's, it's the execution just isn't there, okay? I don't, you've got your work cut out for you because the concept is so heavy. It's just got, it's gotta be executed as such. Um, and this is a good start. I love this. I, I, I do. I think that's really, I just don't know about these, the, well, the execution of these. In Illustrator, when you use these brush marks that have been packaged with Illustrator since probably 2006, they're really, really like passe. Like they were all the thing in 2008. But now you just don't see them anymore because they're so over, well, they have been so overused. So Plus, they have no structural integrity. So anytime you resize it, you're going to lose those. You know, uh, those are going to start looking like mistakes, if you know what I mean. Somebody was talking about your color choices, and I, I just really have to agree. Um, I just don't think there's really a whole lot of attention being paid to color here. You've got the gray and the blue, but it just doesn't tell me anything. Pictograms. Okay, let's take a look at let me explain how this works. I don't mean explain like I'm going to explain this. I don't mean to sound like, like a jerk like that. I mean, I mean, let me explain the, the reasoning and the whole meaning behind pictograms and why they have to work. They're basically wayfinding signage for an international audience. When you have um, that set of conditions that we see often in international travel in airports, um, bus stations and, and such, wherever there's internet, well, especially airports, the signage is something that is really, really taking, taken very, very seriously. And the reason being is because if somebody misconstrues a sign or an icon or a symbol, it, they could miss planes and it could cost folks 
a lot of money and a lot. It could cost folks their. I mean, just imagine the ramifications if um, airport signage wasn't, you know, objectively clear. Well, I look at your pictograms and I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, are these objectively clear? Now, in order to answer that, first thing we have to do is take the word away. Okay, once we take the, because again, international audiences, remember, you take the word away, does that say figure skating? E, I don't think it does. If you take the, um, the words away, does that say biathlon? It, it just doesn't. Alpine skiing does, that works. Bobsled, boy, that kind of works. Um, but like hockey, you know, I mean, if you really see the word and you take everything in context, these could work. But remember, we got this, 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 this international audience thing going on. That's why you always see these things. These pictograms are just really, really dead on representation of the event because as an international audience, as you can say, as you can imagine, a lot of it is 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 uh, visually um, directed, okay. So, and then I don't know what I'm looking at here at, at all. I, I just don't know what this is. Um, tickets? Oh, t oh, the, are these your tickets? Oh, oh, you you should research these. Oh, as a matter of fact, let's go over here. I want to show you something, um, Michaela. This is pretty awesome. I don't know if you saw the announcement, but here in announcement to week seven, um, I got this whole thing about storytelling for this week. This will help you with this week's presentation. But then I got this thing over here. So it's this, oh, here's a little something I thought you guys might enjoy. And it's not the video. It's a little link above the video. And you know what that is? That is, a, well, let's pop it open and find out. This is the style guide for the 2016 Rio Olympics. And as you page through this, you'll see that it is exactly what we're doing. I mean, this is this could fit right into this class. I could see a student handing this in as their presentation. So you can really use this to your benefit to 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 um, um, help you, um, you know, use it for inspiration for your final presentation. I don't mind that at all. That's why I put it up there. But it's really good. I think it's a great idea of what we're looking for in the presentation. Okay. Any questions, please, please get with me. Um, otherwise, I will. Oh, by the way, at this point, um, we're supposed to have um, the um, graphics placed, you know, placement on environmental, on signage, on banners, and the Olympic stadiums, and outsides of buildings, and um, tickets and merchandising, et cetera. So I think one student even designed a website for their um, Olympic, um, I shouldn't say I think, I should say one student even designed a website for their Olympic uh, bid. So, uh, all right, so awesome, good job. If you have any questions, I'm right here, thanks.